Warning, the video you are about to watch may contain the following. Alcohol usage. Verbal, vulgar verbal usage. And the best rock and roll band in the motherfucking 80s. You know it's football season when the buck lights are busted out, baby. Damn bad kid. It's been a long time, guys. Alright. You may be wondering what has prompted me to get up here and run my mouth off about this time. Well, guys, I've been, I watched the video earlier this afternoon, and I'm trying to figure out one thing. Which one is higher? Wiz Khalifa? Snoop Dogg? Or Sweetest Fucking Ego? Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Me and Sleeta, we don't have any beef. Honestly, Sweet is the reason I got into YouTube. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. He's the reason I got into YouTube. So, you know, I don't have any real problems with Sweet Up. Until the video I saw today, and yes sir, you better believe I left a comment on it. You know what really fucking grinds my gears? When people who think they're all high and mighty about shit, when they're really fucking not. This guy comes on here and goes on about a, I don't know, five, six, seven, maybe shorter, long minute video about how he deserves a championship. Hey, Sweeta, David, didn't you get one with that sorry ass Atlanta United team? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. You deserve a championship. Hey, Sweeta. You got one of these? Who? Hmm? You got one of these? Yeah, right, that's a season pass member. I got another one back there, too, from last year, too. This is my second, and if you don't believe I paid for it, fucking ask anybody around me. They'll tell you I paid for it. My second year of having season tickets to the team I love. Alright, so move aside from, from, from pro football. Hey, Sweetie, you say you deserve a World Series, right? Don't you have one of those, too? How many Braves games do you go to a year? I'm not a Rays fan anymore, so I, don't, I can't really count that for me. You can have fucking sorry-ass baseball. We'll move on to the next one. College football. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Here's one for you. How does a guy deserve a national championship when he's a fan of both teams that are rivals with each other? Oh, you can throw the card at me that I was uh, that I have been known to support both Florida State and Georgia. Yeah, 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 I had that. But I have more of a connection with the University of Georgia now than I ever did with Florida State. And don't get me wrong, I still support Florida State because they are the home team for me. As far as teams in the inside of the state of Florida, I support the Florida State Seminoles and the University of South Florida Bulls. But my number one heart lies in Athens. How many Georgia games you been to, David? When was the last time you went to a Georgia game? I have, I've been to four straight cocktail parties. You ever been to a cocktail party? This guy probably went to go to a bar to watch Georgia versus Georgia Tech and wear the Georgia Tech hat and the Georgia T-shirt. Oh, never mind. That stupid-ass Georgia tank top he has. Oh, but he deserves the national championship. Oh, what else? How about when I hear that, uh... 
This guy never had any sort of Atlanta United merchandise. And after they win a championship is when he goes and buys a t-shirt. That says, never mind you champions on it. Here's something that'll really trigger David's gears. I can reach it. Hey, David. You want one of these? You want one of these? Too fucking bad you had your chance. Oh, but that hat's all dusty and old. Super Bowls never die. Shout out to my boy A-Bomb for that one. I deserve a championship. I deserve a championship. Like the Falcons owe you anything, dude. You know what fans deserve to have the championship? The boy fantasy football. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he's still a season ticket holder and pays the PSL. I, maybe. I don't know. Last I checked, he is a season ticket holder. My boy Augusta Gator, he paid the season ticket holder and the PSL, and I don't know how long he's been paying for season tickets. I think he said somewhere in the double digits. And a big shout out to his buddy, too, who drives five hours away to go see the Falcons play every Sunday. But you deserve a championship, right? This guy's ego is so high, he can't even touch it himself. This is why this bothers me so much, David. Throw all the excuses you want. I can't afford it. I can't get around the work schedule. That's all great and everything. And you know what? I, I, would, I wouldn't care. But you come on here and you act like you're the Falcons' number one fan. And you're not. How loyal you are. How much you love your team. You know how people notice that stuff? That stuff goes unsaid. You know, how many, you, know, you know why I don't come on here and, and, and brag about my, my season ticket or brag about the number of fucking Bucks jerseys and Lightning jerseys and Georgia jerseys are in there? Or, or the fact that I have every single Bud Light Buccaneer can that's been released? I got a wall over here. I got a wall over here that's dedicated to Buccaneer mer memorabilia. Footballs. There's some of the Bud Light merchandise with some Mountain Dew cans. Sorry, the angle's not as good. Hell, you want to even see something really cool? I have a whole wall dedicated to your other college football team, the Georgia Bulldogs. This is right next to my Lightning Wall. That's another thing you won't ever touch, a Stanley Cup. See, I got the signed Aaron Murray jersey. I got pictures. I got my Todd Gurley jersey sitting there. Got a picture of Sanford Stadium right there on my beautiful speaker. Got all the bobbleheads and stuff, too. Oh, but yet you deserve, of all people, you deserve that national championship. How many Falcons jerseys you got? Two? <laughs> That's cute. I wear two bus shoes a week. Which album? Hey, hey, hey. Which album is this off of? Somebody, one of my metal heads down below, tell me which album this is off of. I fucking love this band. I wish I loved them when I was younger and I saw them with Kiss years ago. I wish I loved them as much. I went to that show to see Kiss and uh, Motley Crue opened and stole the show. And I wish I was a bigger. I'm a bigger Motley Crue fan now than I am. I, I ever. Uh, that it, well, I am a bigger Motley Crue fan now than I am a Kiss fan. I was a huge Kiss fan growing up uh, in my middle school years, especially. But that that that's to the main point. David, I don't rat on you as but I don't rag on you a lot anymore. My interaction with you is strictly catching up every now and then. Um, you know. I'm sorry I haven't reached out since uh, what happened with Preston, you know, uh, but I've been busy, you've been busy, there's a hurricane coming here any day now. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have made this video if you didn't make the video you did today, because for some reason it ticked an urge in me. 
that you of all people deserve a championship because you make YouTube videos about the Falcons. But yet, can't go out and get you one of these. Didn't think so. I got no problems with you, dude, other than this. Chill your ego. I can think of many other Falcons fans on and off of YouTube that that the Falcons need to win the Super Bowl for more than you. I can think of many other Braves fans that really off of YouTube, but yeah, give it to my boys A Fizzle that deserve a World Series more than you do. Okay? I can think of a thousand Georgia fans that deserve a championship more than you do. It's, I honestly, dude, I don't care. You're a diehard fan, you're a diehard fan. Everybody can be a diehard fan. But don't come on here and act like you're a fucking super fan just because you make YouTube videos. A super fan goes to every home game, hasn't missed a home game in years. In the last 15 years, I've only missed four home games. And I missed those four home games because I barely got by in algebra in seventh grade. I got a 60 to 68 in algebra, and I needed a C to go to those games. <clears throat> I missed four games. One season. Killed them. Haven't missed a game in uh, seven years. Haven't missed a, I've only missed four home games in 15. But you go to one preseason game and think you're the fucking god. And where were you sitting up there in the please? I sit in the end zone, son. You date, sir, right? You telling me? You, you, you is probably why you're single. That's what I said. He comes back with, I date, sir. Yeah, which one? Which one did you go out with tonight, right or left? Another good song. I got a whole Motley Crue playlist going right now. What album is this one? Says it in a fucking song. Look, man. I'll give credit where credit is due. You are a diehard loyal Falcons fan, but you are sure as hell not a super fan. So, that's just my rant of the day. I haven't made a video like this in forever, but man, that irritated the all holy hell of me. Huh. Feels good to make videos like this. Well, my beer's about empty. It's time to go get another one. Y'all have a good rest of your night.